now we're going to switch back to English because we're going to have uh, news from the Institute of Insurance and Safety on the Highway, which uh, just tested the new 2015 Audi 3 sedan. So now here with Kristen Nevels from the IIHS, the Institute of Insurance and Safety in Highway. How are you, Kristen? I'm doing okay. How are you today? Excellent. Thank you for your time. And uh, so I get, uh, I guess you have some uh, news about the new 2015 Audi A3, right? Correct. The um, the 2015 Audi A3 was just named a IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. Yeah. So what that means is that the vehicle passed had good ratings in all of our crashworthiness tests, which are the um, moderate overlap, small overlap, side, roof, and head restraint test. And something new that we added for the 2014 top safety pick is that a vehicle must have a front crash prevention system and it have at least a basic rating in that system. Oh, okay, so to have that top safety plus rating, the cars have to have this uh, new technology now? Yes, if it does not have the new technology but pass all five of the tests, it'll just be named a top safety pick. But in order to be a top safety pick plus, you must have the front crash prevention system. So this is another example of how the Institute uh, pushes uh, uh, the manufacturers to like get even better safety in the cars, right? I mean, because they can just have like that, but if they want this recognition, they have to implement all these kind of things. Right, and just over the years, we've seen um, manufacturers wanting to pass our test and wanting to get the top safety pick plus and the top safety pick honors. So they are forced, if they want to get that recognition, they're forced to make their car safer. Yeah, so all the uh, all the testings are, are, I mean, like the other tests are remain the same, like the newest one is the one, the frontal partial impact, right? And uh, But now <laughs> this extra requirement. Right, that's the small overlap. We started that test in 2012, and what that test does is it crashed the car into a, a rigid barrier at 40 miles an hour, but instead of doing 40% of the front of the car, it's 25% of the front of the car. And um, we started that test because we were seeing that about a quarter of the deaths in a front, in a um, the front crash test people were still dying from. It was that test that only used 25% of the car. And that's like crashing into another car, headlight to headlight, or hitting a tree or a utility pole. Yeah, and uh, so in this case, the Audi A3 obviously performed uh, really well in that sense, and I guess it's based uh, because of their, obviously, engineering, the, 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 the way the, the, um, the compartment for the passengers stands off to those kind of impacts, right? Yes, Audi actually uh, redesigned the car for the 2015 model year. So um, what we're seeing is that when manufacturers redesign their vehicles a lot of time now to in order to pass our test, they're making the occupant compartment stronger. So when it does get in that 25% overlap test, the passenger, well, the driver side um, is more protected. Yeah. Has more protection. Okay, so and uh, in this case, this was the only car that was tested. Uh, is this a rare occasion, or like uh, because I believe that you do some other tests, like in groups, right? Right, we're um, we're constantly testing vehicles. We test about um, at least two cars a week, and um, we have a couple things on the horizon. So, just we want your listeners to be on the lookout for um, our next group of vehicles that are coming out. And every now and then we'll do just individual tests, like this one in particular. And sometimes the manufacturer will ask us to test their vehicle outside of our normal test schedule. Okay, thank you, Kristen. Thank you very much again for your time, and uh, we'll be in touch uh, with your next results. Okay, thank you. Thank you, bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.